Hey everyone, I'm Meredith and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm so excited that you found me and if you're returning, I'm so grateful you've decided to come back and watch more. I love all things luxury. I love luxury shoes, luxury handbags, luxury lifestyle and vlogging and if they're things that appeal to you, I hope you'll hit that subscribe button down below and join us. Today I am doing a Chanel unboxing. It's only a little unboxing, so it won't be a long video, but you can see I've got a selection of my Chanel handbags up behind me. And today I got out of some of my Chanel 19s because people have been asking if I have 19s and yes, I do. Um, you can also see my hearts up here, the whole family. Um, and I'll link those unboxings down below because I, they were very exciting. So let's have a look at today's unboxing. So it's just the one bag and just the one item. So just a little one. So let's have a look, guys. Oh, ribbon. Oh, there we go. Okay. So we've got the receipt from the store, and I didn't go into store to purchase this. Purchase this. My sales associate sent me photos, and I went, "Oh, yeah, I want that." <laughs> um, and she posted it out to me. So she's included the Chanel Magazine 2022 issue 23 with Margot Robbie on the cover for me to have a look at. Is this just, I know I get um, the fashion magazines like with the upcoming collections and pictures every now and again, but is this just a magazine magazine? Let's have a look. Oh yeah, it's just a, um, it's got obviously lots of marketing. <laughs> um, but looks like it also has some stories in there as well. So it must just be a magazine that they do periodically, like um, uh, Hermes do the same thing. They have a periodic magazine. So there you go, that was nice of it to include. And then I'll take this out. Oh, look at that, the camellia stayed where it was supposed to. That doesn't happen very often. <laughs> Usually they end up somewhere else and stuff and you can't get them off. So let's take oh, that off. So, wow. <laughs> so the the sticky bit has remained stuck to the ribbon. Okay, that was a super sticky one. All right, ribbon. And the box. I haven't seen this in person. It's exciting. Oh, I think I'm gonna love it. Oh, hello. So this is a Chanel Classic Flap Mini. Because I have talked in previous videos about how I am not buying anything that is not a mini or not a jumbo anymore. And this is a mini. And it's in the same, I want to say it's the same. Hang on a minute, let me grab my other one. So this, so this is my mini reissue that I bought in New York. And this is my new mini that I've just unboxed. And looking at them, feel like they're the same color, but then I don't. And that might just be the um, the aged calf skin on this one compared to this one. So I'll put them up for you. And actually that gives you a really good comparison between a reissue and a mini as well. Like you can see the difference, but I feel like they're the same color, but this one feels a little bit darker just marginally, but I think that probably has more to do with the aged calf skin than it does with the actual color itself. So these are both um, current season. Oh, oh, let's put that there. But this is my new one. Oh, I do like the minis. They're a great size. Oh, so pretty. Oh, let's do this. You can see it's got the uh, champagne gold hardware on it. And you've got your Mona Lisa pocket at the back, of course. We've got chain. And then when you open it up, 
single flaps, which is great. It means they're not weighty. Inside one big space, you've got a zipper compartment at the back, and then you've got a slip pocket as well just in front. The little metal tag is on the front for the authenticity. It has, still has the stickers on, so we're going to take them off because we all know how I feel about stickers. And that one too. <laughs> and the best thing about the minis, as far as I'm concerned, is the fact that they crossbody. So I can comfortably wear a mini crossbody and it's perfect for me, which is why I do the minis and the jumbos only because they're the only two sizes that I can wear crossbody comfortably um, without any issues. Um, and obviously with the minis um, and classic flaps, you've got the two grommets and on the reissues, you have the four grommets. So whereas with the reissues, we can double up the chain, wear it over our shoulder. We can't do that with the minis without, and some people do this and that's cool. So they will put it underneath. Oh, that didn't work. They do it somehow. How did they do it? How did they do it? Oh, I see. No? Yes. <laughs> Got it. Got there in the end, guys. <laughs> they just cross them underneath and then they can wear it on their shoulder. I won't do that. For me, it's a perfect crossbody bag. That's how I plan to wear it. So I have no intentions of trying to shorten the strap. I know you can also buy um, on Amazon some kind of clip that you can put on it um, that kind of clips it underneath without hurting the bag and that will also make the chain shorter. So that's certainly an option as well. But I like the crossbody. That's why I like these bags. And look at this color. I just love this color. I love anything that's like a raspberry or a berry or a pink. Um, so yeah, absolutely and completely in love with this color and so stoked to have it in the mini version as well. So yeah, that's that's my very short unboxing for today. Um, but I wanted to get it up because um, it was sitting here and I really wanted to unbox it more than anything. Um, and of course, oh, I should quickly say, and of course you also get the care booklet like you always get. And the care booklets always come with your little um, mitt to help buff up the, the leather. Um, and I now have a whole pile of these somewhere and every time um, Rod from the Lux Theory consigns an item for me, I've got to try and find the thing that goes with it and the dust bag, of course. Um, so yeah, that's my unboxing for today. That's my Chanel unboxing. I don't do a lot of Chanel unboxings anymore. Um, they're just so expensive now um, and just really hard to get stock down here in Australia. So um, when things come up like this, I jump on them if I really want them. But um, my sales associate will send me like seven or eight things and I'm just not interested. She sent me um, a lot of 22s and with all the controversy going on with the 22s and the cracking of the leather, I'm not touching them with a 10 foot pole. I don't even want to know about them. So apart from the fact that they're not really my style and I don't really like them, I wouldn't touch them with a 10 foot pole at the moment because they're just... They have major issues with cracking and problems and yeah, until they sort that out, I think we should just stay away from them. So if you've liked today's video, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. I am about to commence um, filming all my collection videos and I know so many of you desperately want those. Um, so they're about to start filming and I will do um, back to back videos with um, so for example, I'll take a classic flap and I'll do all the different sizes of classic flaps and compare them for you guys in the first video. And then I'll do a back to back video straight after where I talk, where I show you all my classic flaps that I have. And we'll do it that way. Just because my collection is so vast and so big, I had to find a way that I could show you guys without it being a 12 hour video. So I think that's the easiest way to do it. If we do a 
these are the different types of classic flaps you can buy and how they compare. And then straight after we do a second video about these are all the classic flaps I own and I take you through them all so you can see my collection in bits. So if you're interested in that, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below because they're about to start. If you'd like to come follow me over on Instagram, I'll throw up my handle for you. I post a lot in real time over there. I post lots of pictures of my collection and I'm super interactive over there. So come follow me over there. And if you want to have a chat, you can always DM me. Um, I hope wherever you are in the world today, you are having a fabulous day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.